What's up everybody? Today we're taking a look at a Loco and Caboose combo as well as another piece of rolling stock from Backman. So let's jump right in and get started. So we're going to start with the rolling stock first. So here we have a Union Pacific Railroad uh, wooden gondola. Uh, the box features artwork from other products from Backman. Go ahead and crack her open here. Now I don't know the exact uh, like year these things were released, but I would imagine at least with the Loco and Caboose, it's pretty old. Okay, now you can see here it's got the UPR on the side for Union Pacific Railroad. Um, these models do have the horn couplings, which... I have a feeling I'm going to end up changing the couplings only because I prefer another type. Uh, loads of separately fitted parts. The base plate feels as though it is a metal base plate. And I have to admit for a gondola, it's got some good weight to it. A detailed undercarriage, which I will need to straighten up. But it's just a pretty basic gondola. Next up, we have this Loco and Caboose combo pack with a Santa Fe Loco and Caboose. You can see here that it must have been sold at KB Toy Stores at some point. Now, these are HO scale, which puts them at, I believe it's 187th scale. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, caboose. Now you can see on the side here, this is item number 61502, EMD F9 diesel. So we'll start with the Santa Fe caboose, number 999628. You can see the uh, uh, decal or tampo work, I'm really not sure which on the side is very well placed. It's decently detailed with the railings on the front and rear as well as this antenna here. Now it looks, I gotta be honest, it looks and feels metal and it does have you know some good weight to it but I'm honestly not sure if this thing is plastic or metal. But it's uh, just like the gondola before it, it's got plastic wheels on the bottom, plastic wheels and axles. But it does have a detailed undercarriage, which is nice. Not bad for what is advertised as a free caboose to come with the locomotive. Now on to the locomotive. Now the locomotive did come with these old you know, yellowed out uh, instructions for maintenance and care of the locomotive. Which, you know, further leads me to believe that this is an older model. But here we have our Santa Fe Railroad EMD F9 with the Warbonnet livery. It's fairly decently detailed. This will be unit number 307. It's got the windows in the front, however, no window in the, the rear door, and the door doesn't open or anything like that. Um, if you're a fan of rivets, there are plenty on this model. And uh, according to the packaging, this is supposed to be a light-up one that lights up in the front. However... If we take a closer look, we can clearly see that the bulb that was supposed to be here is missing. So I am going to have some wiring work to do. But beyond that, this Loco is in actually really good shape. And I, I mentioned that because uh, I found these 
these pieces on eBay. I got them for a really, really cheap price, which is why I picked them up. And this is untested, so I hope I hope it runs. Now, it does need to be said that I'm sure Backman's newer versions of this model are uh, much better. I uh, again, I'm going to look it up in between shots here to see if I can figure out when this was when this was uh, released. But I, I, I think it's probably around the 90s, but I'm not too sure. Uh, you can see it has the air horns on the uh, the roof as well as vents. No moving parts inside the vents. Just a basic locomotive. And uh, yeah, the, this this livery, the war bonnet livery, is just it's it's a locomotive that I've always liked the look of. And honestly, a Santa Fe loco just like this was the first train model I got when I was a kid, which is what kind of led me to buy this so let's go ahead and take a closer look at these models and then we'll put it on the track and hopefully this thing will run Well, I did a little bit of searching and I can't come up with anything for a release date for this loco, but it's got to be older considering how the uh how the paperwork looks. So, here we have our Santa Fe war bonnet. I'll give it some power, see if it can move. Yes, it comes alive. Can it go in reverse? Sure can. Can it crawl? I'm turning the power up very slowly here. Eh, I think after a little bit of tuning or uh, maintenance, it'll, it'll actually crawl better than this. So, let's go ahead and couple her up to the other two, which the rolling stock rolls very smoothly. But let's go ahead and couple it up and get it running around the track. And we'll see how well it runs. Now you can tell she's a loud one. Now this is on full power from the Hornby controller that came with the Coca-Cola train. Uh, my eventual plan will be to get a better controller that I can do this with. But as you can see, she runs fairly well. So let's enjoy a couple of... I'm going to slow her down a little bit and we're going to enjoy a couple shots of her running. And uh, that'll be it for today. So that's it for today. Just a quick look at a Bachman locomotive and rolling stock. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of me doing these train videos down below. 
It's just an old hobby that I had, and I wanted to get back into it. Figured, why not share it? And uh, remember to play with your kids. And as always, I'll see you next time.